Hey guys, uh, just having one of these, Ballast Point Dorado, which is a double IPA. This one's actually 10%, which is really full on. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna sip this one. <laughs> okay, um, so I don't know, some of you might know that we moved house. So we don't live in Nelson anymore, we live in Wakefield. Which is uh, sort of in the Tasman district, so we've changed our district a little bit. This is this is the beer. It's actually quite light for a ten percent pale ale. Pretty cool. Very caramelly. Mmm, citrusy, lemony. Check this out. That is my new brewery. A nice big yard for the kids. So we're gonna have a look in here and I'm gonna I'm gonna show off a little bit I guess. Sorry. <laughs> Let's have a look. Door number one, door number two. Ta-da! So, um, in the brewery we have a wash-up station, uh, there you go, so the camera's angle's a bit weird, and we also have a sort of a, a well that's a commercial dishwasher which the pump doesn't work so we've flipped that off. Um, but here we've got a uh, basin and um, yeah, just some stainless steel bench top. Um, some storage space underneath, which is pretty cool. Um, some shelves, which I'm just storing my fermenters. And um, one of Paul Wicksteed, the late Paul Wicksteed. Uh, his conscientious objector, which was kind of like a black IPA uh, competition that he was entering. So it's pretty cool. So I always just sort of hold on to that. <laughs> um, got my man cave sign. What happens in the man cave stays in the man cave. I actually got this recently as well. Support your local craft brewery. And it's a um, sort of a bottle uh, popper. So that's pretty cool. What's the cat doing? Cat's, cat's having a good scratch at the door over there, you weirdo. Hey? Might turn the light on. Just a little bit dark. Um, I've got two of these as well, so um, sort of like a stainless steel uh, table. So I'll be doing some brewing with these. Um, I've got the stereo, that's the big one. I've got the smaller one inside. I've got this cool like dough mixer thing which we're flicking off. Um, Bit of a cupboard. Sort of had this in here as well, which we're flicking off. Um, got me a fridge, so I can probably do some fermentation in this one. It's a, a bigger fridge than that one over there, so that's pretty cool. And um, here's the other table. So it's really nice. It's all stainless steel, which is great. Um, and I found I found this, which is pretty cool. So it's starting to turn into a bit of a homebrew Wednesday. <laughs> Let's make it a homebrew Wednesday. Um, so this is kind of just a camp roll, but it's also got the um, sort of the, the foil on it as well. Um, my idea is I'm going to pretty much just stick that on my kettle. So there's my kettle. Look at it. It's so unused. Excuse me. I'm actually planning on doing a brew soon-ish. Um, get paid tomorrow and um, I'll buy some ingredients and just get one down I suppose um, the idea will be probably an American pale ale so nothing too fancy just something to um, something for Christmas really something to share around and, and whatnot so um yeah um what else I don't know <laughs> That's pretty much it. So yeah, I mean that's I don't know if you can kind of see that this is it's it's set up like a um it's essentially it's a commercial kitchen that the uh, last people um owned. 
uh, I think they were Italian and they used to make uh, pasta so they used this and they um, made pasta and sold it at the local market for ages so we inherited all the goodies and flicked them off <laughs> pay some bills as you know moving house is bills man um, so yeah that's no, cool I've got to basically I've got to figure out a layout of um, so I've, I've, I've actually uh, unplumbed this and de-electrified it so this is dodgy as but I've got the cables all unplugged um, sort of up high away from the kids um, and this one is de-gassed and de-electrified so that's all sorted so these things can pretty much move although although one annoying thing about this is um i don't know if you can see there's a bit of a lip here this is the the dishwasher there's a ah oh, i don't know anyway there's a there's a lip here and it goes over the dishwasher and in here it's a little bit weird in that i can't just can't just pull it out so I'm going to need to attack it with a grinder or something and, and move the dishwasher. But once the dishwasher's out, um, there'll be a, a you know, good, good amount of space there. Probably a good sort of metre 20, metre 30. Um, and then around the corner here, I might just sort of make these uh, stainless steel benches flow, put another one there. And then, you know, easy access to the, uh, where is it? <laughs> there! To the sink, so... I think all in all this will be a really cool brew space and um, once I've kind of figured out this stuff over here you know I'll get the cabinet out of the way and put the fridge somewhere um, should be able to um, make it a bit of a sleep sleep outy type arrangement too um, and pop a sort of fold out couch or something which would be good sip some beers on the couch on brew day <laughs> yeah no it's good Really stoked. Um, it's uh, it's like properly, fully properly wired up. So I've actually got a, a panel. So um, at the moment, dishwasher's off. So, you know, that, that cable that's up there is it's not going to do anything, which is good. Can switch that shit off. Um, and we've got like a, a main isolating switch, which is great. We've got an RCD, residual current device. So that's good for water. That's on at the moment because that is a safe thing. Um, we've got the lights on, the pump is on. Actually, the pump is a funny thing. Um, I'm going to turn that off because I'm not using it, so it makes it safer. The funny thing is, um, the the property just ever so slightly just slopes ever so slightly. I mean, it's it's pretty flat, but. Um, just here we've, we've got this sort of arrangement of, of um, uh, sort of wastewater that sort of accumulates in this black box so, so behind this wall is the um, the sinks and the, the little wash station and then down here is kind of like a, uh, a wastewater pump um, I looked it up and they're pretty they're pretty intense apparently they can do a couple hundred litres a minute which is like whoa okay the reason for that is that um, it sort of um, goes uphill so it needs to be able to pump it up under the ground and over the other side of the house so um, interesting I can't really flick that off I, I think I'll need it um, yeah growing some chilies got these guys outside at the moment pow pretty cool uh, apparently oh, apparently they were Carolina Reapers um, the chili that I nicked the seeds out of, I actually made nachos with it, and it was it was hot, <laughs> but it didn't look like a Carolina Reaper. It didn't have the um, sort of the scorpion tail and, and the, um, the the puckering to it. So, pff, don't know. Oh, I got a bug in my beer. Oh no, that sucks. I'll let him marinate in there a little bit. I'll get him out shortly. But um, yeah, I don't know, there's probably not much else to talk about um, except for just a sum up of, um, you know, the new um, brewery and I'll have to organise everything, get my insulation on the, the kettle 
and um, get some ingredients, then I could do a live stream and just brew. Um, get some music going and whatnot. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so basically that was a homebrew Wednesday and it is Wednesday, so woohoo, there you go. So cheers guys. Um, sorry I haven't had many videos lately. Um, just busy uh, with life. Um, I've got three young kids, so it just, you know, you know, you get it. Um, so yeah, all good. Alrighty, enjoy your evening. I won't keep you too long. Over and out.